Okay, let's see how we create a gradient and save a gradient in Adobe Illustrator CS4. Okay, so I have a box here. I put in the basic white to black gradient. And let's see how we could change the color on this. Well, I'm going to show you several ways. Let's take a look at the uh, sort of old-fashioned way, uh, which will work in CS3 and before. All right, I'll click on my box here. Here's my gradient panel that I've dragged out. Now if I want to change the first stop here, the white, uh, I could go to my swatches, click on the color while holding down the Alt key or the Option key on the Mac, and that'll do it. Let me undo that. Another way would be to drag that color on top of the stop. That'll do it. Uh, another way is to actually use our um, color panel. Let's drag that guy over here. I would select the stop. And now with this, I can just select my uh, mode here and just mix my own color. All right, let's put this back. We don't need, oops, not both of them. Let's get rid of this guy. Put him back where he came from. There we go. And let's see the better way to do it. Uh, let's do it undo, undo. Here we go. So now with CS4, we can actually just double click right on the stop here. And now we have a choice. We could use the color panel by clicking this icon, or we could use our swatches panel. Uh, we don't have to worry about holding down any special keys. I can just click on this cyan here, and it's changed. All right, let's do the last stop. Let's make this magenta. And now you can also see there's another feature here, opacity. We can actually have this gradient go from a color to transparency. All right, let's put in a new color. I mean a new uh, stop here. This, I just go underneath the ramp. I see the cursor has a plus sign, and I click. Puts in a new stop for us, and then we can change the color the same way. Here we go. And of course, if you don't remember, we can put in as many stops as we want. If you want to get rid of a stop, just click and drag it away. All right, so now if we want to uh, save this, well, wait, I forgot to show you one other thing. Uh, let's take a look at the gradient tool, which is much improved. Well, we could use this the old fashioned way, just click and drag, and that changes the angle of our gradient, where it starts and stops. So a short drag will go from in this case, from cyan to yellow to magenta in a very small space. If I drag it out, it gets spread over a much larger space. But we have some more control right here. So you know what? We can even get rid of this guy. Let's park him on the side here. Park this guy on the side here. And let's see what we could do without any panels at all. Well, I can adjust this. I can move the end point anywhere I want. Now watch the cursor here. When it looks like the circle with the arrow, I can change the angle. Like so. I can grab that. Well, let's put this back here. There we go. But now what's cool about this is I can change the colors right here. Watch when we bring my cursor close, and there's the stops. I can adjust them, or I could just double click on one, and I can change the colors to my heart's content here. Well, one other thing that we're going to need the, um, the panel for is if we wanted to change this to a radial gradient. Let's give that a shot. Now this new tool, the new 
gradient tool also gives us some functionality here too. Well, again, I can grab this, change its starting point, stretch this out here. Let's bring this in. But I can also control the shape here. If I grab this guy up here, like so, you can see the cursor change. I can squeeze this down into an oval. Let's move this over here. I can change the angle. Again, I see that cursor changes to a circle with an arrow, and I can change the angle here. This guy changes uh, the eccentricity, how oval or round it is. And now we can do all this right from the gradient tool. So let's now quickly see how we can save this. Well, the easiest way, I think, is to open up your swatches panel and just click on the new swatch icon here. So we can give it a name. I'll just call it Tony. And now that shows up in our swatches panel. Uh, let's take a look here. We'll do just show gradients. Here we go. And here's the new swatch we just saved. You can also add stops with the gradient tool by the same thing. Just click right underneath here. Want to change the color, double click. And there we go. Okay, so now you know all you need to know to get started with making gradients in Illustrator CS4.